taught her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. All right, so we replay the music that I usually bring in to bring us back into segment two after the monologue. All right. Tri-City Sports Now, I am Marky Bilson, and uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, point this at some grab bag news. By the way, you hear this Las Vegas Bowl. It's not official yet. I mean, it's not official that there'll be three new bowls added to the college football uh, landscape. But the Las Vegas Bowl, what with the Raiders moving their new stadium, they are really trying hard to uh, do away with their Mountain West Pac-12 matchup and bring in the SEC in instead of the uh, Mountain West. I was going to say in lieu, but that's usually what happens when you die. I mean, come on, you know. So instead of the Mountain West, the SEC, that would give the SEC 11 bowl slots. 11 games that people wouldn't care about. Only bowl, by the way, that chooses its own allotment, believe it or not, Citrus Bowl. Citrus Bowl is supposed to get either the SEC champ, but usually that's going on to the playoffs or, you know, something like that. They don't get that, then they can choose. Then it's usually, you know, the, maybe the team that loses the SEC title game, something like that. So, uh, but yeah, the only, but yeah, 11, potentially now 11 slots, bowl slots for the SEC. Uh, I wanted to talk about this. The, uh, over the weekend, there was uh, something horrible. It's been making its uh, rounds all over social media, as well as television media around here. And there was a softball tournament this weekend at Brickyard Park up in Kingsport. And what inspired was total white trash. I got to tell you, two teams from a you know, traveling softball tournament, two 12 and under softball teams, USA Softball, from North Carolina, the East Wilkes Cardinals and the Blue Ridge Explosion. So these two under, you know, 12-year-olds, first of all, 12-year-old uh, softball travel teams. Yeah, really. I mean, you know. Anyway, East Wilkes won. Blue Ridge fans thought, oh, it's because of the bad umpire's calls. Words were exchanged, and a huge brawl, about a 56-second video that you can see, of people who might want to try salad instead of bacon, as well as in flip-flops, started rolling around on the floor and making jackasses out of themselves. Did you see this? Man, there's a lot of viral videos and all this. And unfortunately, what it says, look at this, which happened in Kingsport, Tennessee. So it sounds like people from Kingsport and not two North Carolina teams, but regardless. Uh, just a couple of things. First of all, to get this worked up over 12-year-old softball. Uh, you know, I'm not a parent, and this sort of stuff makes me happy that I'm not. That's number one. By the way, no arrests, because a lot of it was just show, uh, you know, fat people fighting on, in flip-flops. Uh, you know, I've heard the old adage that nobody really gets hurt in a hockey fight. I could probably show some, uh, you know, I know I could probably show some, uh, you know, I exceptions to that rule. But the idea is you're on skates, and so, you know, your feet are moving around. Throwing a punch is not the same as if, you know, you have... Uh, stable footing. Okay, that's uh, the idea. In this case, you have flip-flops and uh, women who are 250 pounds. That's not going to do a whole lot of damage. So surprisingly, even though there's all this video of an all-out brawl and screaming, there were no arrests made. Nobody said, I got to go to the hospital. Uh, you know, nobody wanted to really, uh, you know, come back to Kingsport and press charge, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, in that sense, I suppose we're thankful. 
Just though, I mean, that you get upset on umpiring calls. I, you know, to me, one of the things I, I, I've often said this, I've often thought that the worst sports talk show host perhaps I've ever heard was the fabulous sports babe. She was trying to do the tough guy, the attack, the uh, hang up on the collar, wise guy mode. But her shtick was she was doing it and she was a woman. So that played real well at ESPN, who syndicated her. And as soon as she left ESPN, her career went into the tank. But uh, the one thing that she actually did do is that uh, fans would sometimes call up and they'd complain that their team lost because of umpire's call. And every time she would ding them and say, score more points or runs or goals, as the case may be. I loved it. I mean, I just, I understand, you know, that sports and all that, but to, to go to that level on umpiring calls, let's face it, if you lost this game, you're, to go to this fight on umpiring calls, you're pointing fingers, and you're pointing fingers at 12-year-old softball. This is why I say New Arena, double-A team in the Tri-Cities. Sports in the Tri-Cities has long meant you know, the traveling softball tournament comes in. I want something more cosmopolitan. That's why I applaud Lincoln Memorial's efforts and have him on so that we can get away from this crap and have something that actually unites the community. Colin Coward's next. WBMB Irwin, 1420 NBC Sports Radio Tri-Cities on Facebook.